What's up guys this is Marian here uh, welcome back to another tutorial on office 365 uh, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can connect to your office 365 tenant through Windows PowerShell all right and uh, many options are not available on the GUI and uh, one of uh, which is creation of the guest users and I came across this and I saw there was no option to create a guest user on the GUI okay so you need a windows powershell to do uh, a lot of things so why not uh, we see how we can get connected to it okay and i'm gonna go to the powershell which is by default in windows 8 i'm gonna right click run as administrator okay so back in those days we used to have something called azure ad module for windows powershell and i don't see it any longer no longer available uh, on the public internet so I thought uh, let me come up with this tutorial okay so you need to check what version of PowerShell you are in don't worry I'm going to uh, add the commands to the description and if you see under major uh, the version is 5 so I run a version 5 if you run a version 4 don't worry about it go to this uh, link and download the windows management framework 5.1 and it's a bundle along which you get the windows powershell version 5 so the reason why i'm asking you to uh, download a version 5 is uh, the installation of azure ad module and the ms online module is not possible on the version 4 okay so now we're gonna get connected to the uh, office 365 tenant and this is the code all right the first line says dollar live cred is equal to thread credentials it's nothing but you're getting the credentials and you're storing it in the session and the second line is opening up a session and connecting to the ps.outlook.com slash powershell with the credentials that you gave and the third line is importing the ps session that you just created i'm gonna run the first line i'm a little lazy today so I'm going to copy this, paste it, type in the password, and then copy this. Hit enter, and copy the third line to import the PS session okay what does it say connecting to remote server ps.outlook.com failed with the following error message access is denied okay maybe i typed it incorrectly i'm gonna clear it okay let's do it from the beginning okay Sometimes this happens. Looks good. There you go. I must have typed the password incorrectly. That's okay. So now that you've logged in, you can try these commands and you get everything, right? But when you try something called MSOL user, it doesn't come. Um, I'm hitting the tab key and it's not working. So what's up? You need to install the Azure AD module. Okay. Dash force is nothing but you're just uh, saying yes to all instead of the partial rather asking you whether you want to say yes to all okay and once this module is installed i'm going to install the ms online module for the ms online services to work it's taking a bit of time Okay. 
running the parc command for ms online module and after this is done you will have to connect to the ms online service okay and feel free to uh, let me on the comment session section <laughs> if you need anything or if you have any queries and there you go and after which just run this command i'm gonna hit the tab key there you go it's working and uh, we got everything right so all the ms online services work and you're good to go thank you for watching this video and if you have any queries or uh, questions kindly uh, leave it on the comments section or follow me uh, on my instagram and uh, this is my instagram handle thank you and have a wonderful day goodbye